Hello viewers, today I am going to show you how to enable and disable common buttons. I am going to develop a tab and from the ActiveX controls I am going to drag in two common buttons on this worksheet. Common button 1 and common button 2. Right? And let me go into the properties now. I'm going to change this name of the common button. Let us call this column A. And also I'm going to change the caption column A. And also for the next one, I'm going to change the name column B and the caption column B okay now I'm going to write few lines of codes behind these two common buttons against column column a common button I'm going to declare a variable I as integer <clears throat> and I'm going to use a for loop for I is equal to 1 to I'm writing a very simple program here and this will do what this will be this will fill up the column a that is first column column one with the values equal to i okay and this is the next i loop uh, i statement so that completes the for next loop right so what this program is going to do let's see close the editor window go back to design mode and turn it off and click on column a and that will fill up the column a with the values from 1 to 20 right and similarly we are going to write the code for column b and i'm going to copy these few lines of codes from here into this button and uh, sells i to i is equal to 1 to 20 so that will run you through from row number 1 to row number 20 and in column b that is in column 2 we want the values in column <coughs> a to be multiplied by 12 okay so sells i to that is uh, the cell in column 2 will be multiplied by 12 uh, will be equal to uh, the cell value in column 1 uh, multiplied by 12 let's see what it does close turn off click on this there you go so there is 12 24 36 and so on and so forth that is fine now if you look at these two co co common buttons these two common buttons are uh, in enabled condition at the moment uh, what we want to do is when we click on this column a button this will become uh, initially this column b button will remain as disabled but when we we'll click on this column a button this will become disabled and this will become enabled uh, and again when we we'll click on this column b button this will become disabled and this will become enabled okay let's see how you can do it so I'm going to go, go into the Visual Visual Basic Editor window <clears throat> and here I'm going to write uh, column A dot, <clears throat> sorry, dot enabled, that is the method enabled, enabled is equal to false, okay? And column B enabled will be equal to true, right? Similarly, copy this in column B button. This would be equal to false and that will be equal to true. Okay. Uh, close this window <clears throat> and also initially we'll have to make this disabled. So we'll go to property and in the enabled property, we'll change it to false, right? turn off and now you see 
uh, initially this column a common button is enabled but column b button is disabled that is nothing will happen if you click on this one right and uh, let us clear all these contents of column a and column b and now click on this column a button click so it has done the job it has <clears throat> filled in column a with values from 1 to 20 that is fine and it has become disabled and it has also enabled the column b button right now if you click on this column b button right it will do the job it will multiply the values of column a by 12 and put in column b and will become disabled and will enable the column a button right so this is how you can uh, switch between the <coughs> Uh, switch between the or remove uh, or move between the common buttons by using enabled method thanks very much thanks for watching this